Welcome back to the Hubbard Handmade Shop. In this part two video, I am going to be making a little housing with a ramp for the dog door that we installed in the last video. I'm going to be using this three quarter inch pine plywood and I'm going to start by ripping it into 24 inch sections as my plans call mostly for 24 inch on a side. I was able to break down some of the plywood on my table saw, but I need two pieces out of this long piece, 43 inches and 46 inches. So I'm just going to measure it out and use the track saw. Let's make this one 46 inches. This is going to be my back piece and it needs the angle of the roof. And so I've just marked my side piece, which is 37 inches, and I'm taking the track saw up to the back corner to give me the right angle of the roof pitch. This is the piece that's gonna be parallel with the house, and so this piece is going to be like this, right up against it. So I'm just gonna run a line of glue and then tack it together. My dog door is 20 inches off of the ground out there, so I'm just going with a platform 18 or so inches off the ground. So I'm just gonna mark a couple of places at 18 inches on here. And then I've just cut some of these strips from leftover plywood. I'm gonna mount those on here, glue and tack them in place, and then the platform will rest right on top of that. Now the ramp is gonna come off of this platform, so I'm gonna make a two by four to hold up this corner so that it's not just floating out here. I'm just gonna tack the roof in place with some brad nails and then I'll come back and reinforce it with screws. All of this, of course, is gonna be covered in shingles and painted to protect it from the elements. So I've cut a 45 degree angle into this edge and this edge so that I can match them up easier. And since the ramp would be so awkward to transport, I'm just going to drill holes for it, put some screws in, take them back out, put it on location, and then put the ramp in place. All right, it's the next day, and I've moved my ramp house thing uh, to the backyard. The next step is to put siding on it, paint it, and put the shingles on and then it'll be ready for use. Well, there you have it. I'm not really sure what to call it. I guess it's a ramp housing or something, uh, but it should help to keep the rain off of the door and out of the house, and the dogs will be able to go up and down the ramp without any problem. So this should solve our issues, and all in all, I'm really happy with how this came out. Thank you very much for watching. 